weeps. Calling all weeps. Uh -huh. Your presence is requested in part eight of Odyssey cleanup. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. What they said. Welcome back to the emptied out Bowser's kingdom, which still has some enemies, even though we're. Oh, By the wow, way, like my new us. suit. Oh, wow. hey, you're wearing a Hakama. Oh. I think it's called yep. Hakama. I can't. Remember. Mario Hakama. Does this not have a hat attached to it, or? Oh no, no, th there's no hat attached to it. In fact, it's funny because um, I know in Mario Kart Tour they added Mario's Hakama suit in. With that, he actually doesn't even wear a hat. Konnichiwa, brother. <laughs> you know, how do you use the shortcut? Oh yeah, the, the shortcuts uh, lead you around the gate and uh, okay. take you. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, well, here we are. Where was this when we needed it? But yeah, yeah, really. Case, uh, AK's I think I think that that shortcut was only uh, put it put in there just as soon as Bowser Yay. fled. Oh, yeah, Fair he enough. closed his main but, gate. By the way, there's, that moon cube. there's an area over there that has uh, that has Don't a move. seed. Nice. That you, there's an area over there that you have that there's a seed. You toss it up and all that. I don't know if we're going to do it, but that is the best way to collect coins in this whole game. Oh yeah. Up until moon, up until balloon world, yes. 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 So anyway, there we go. Place is all cleared out. Um, again, I still think that this was pretty creative what they did with this whole place. I like this yeah. also. Oh, of course. Also, yeah. also. Uh, oh, I see that sparkly block. Oh, and a hint art. I also see a photo. Hey, po hey Poochie. Poochie. Poochie uh, ain't stupid. Poochie needs to stop <laughs> hiding all his messes. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. To the right. Uh, that's where moon, moon is. We, we just gotta blow it up. But for now, we gotta kill that hat mini boss thing with the Goombas. Yeah, yeah, this I, thing again. I feel like in total, you only find this thing like three times throughout the whole game. That's why. Like, oh yeah, that's it? right. Because I forget about nice. the technical last time. Right. Yeah, I. We'll get to that. I feel like there's only three times you may not meet up with him. If there are any others, I don't remember them off the top of my head. Yeah, this, is like a, this is like a very, very out of the way enemy. Uh, yeah. That makes me so nervous. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Two and times for the and it's done. And yay! Give us so, a power okay, so, moon. Oh. oh, yeah. By the way, um, it should be mentioned that um, as you no doubt noticed uh, back when we did Bowser's Kingdom the first time, I actually yeah. was not. I wasn't able to actually come back here to take care of purple coin cleanup because, well, well, the plot you were mad at regression. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. at regression. So I did learn. I did learn later that apparently you actually can leave like the Moon Kingdom and whatnot, like especially when things matter the most. And it's like Happy's like, wait, you want to leave now? Bowser's here. Yeah. But the purple yeah. coins. Yeah. That's by, gonna get on my by case. The way, by the way, I will say that there is one spot in this game that I'm like, yeah, that's the worst purple coin placement in this whole game. And I hate it. We'll get there. But yeah, Speaking of which, I'm, I'm kind of surprised Matt didn't get on my case when I said, but the purple coins, Matt will get on my case. I got the hoodie. But yeah, okay. But yeah, I forgot I was going to talk about this, so Matt... The whole Pokemon Sword and Shield thing, I believe a current theory that Game Freak maybe just genuinely messed up. Like they meant they meant to get all the Pokemon in there, but something happened in their importer. Uh, my friend and I were talking about it. We think that maybe what happened was that when they were working on this game, Game Freak were probably thinking this was going to be a Wii U title originally, until they were until until they were told no, let's make it for the Switch instead and. The issue is that the Pokemon Company is starting to kind of become like Ubisoft and is trying to push for annual releases all the time. And that, that yeah. is yeah. that is the that problem. Sound, that do, that does make sense. You <laughs> need more. You need more time. Honestly. Oh. Honestly, I do, no. I right. do blame that. I do blame the Pokemon Company because I do think it's the Pokemon Company's ultimate decision to it, like it was their ultimate decision to split the. Uh, Split the development into literal thirds. Yeah, mm -hmm. for this. So no, I will also say that maybe it was badly timed for them to also do that one uh, little town hero no, game exactly. alongside that, it. That yeah. And, that and Pokemon oh. Go are the reason why this game feels lazy. Ah, secret. Or if not, if not, yeah. weak, then, then kind of well rushed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they really wanted there to focus go. on all the mobile stuff. Like right. I know so people that... are going to get it, are going to get on our case and go like, oh, you're just not playing it. You don't understand. Yes, I haven't played it. I don't understand yet. But here's my problem. It's the fact that it Ooh, still ow. looks ow. like it's lazy. And even though, and even some people who have played it have complained about it. I mean, let's be real here though. Like, regardless of what how you feel and feel about the game, like it doesn't change the fact that well. There's still a lot of people out there that are enjoying the heck out of it, and who are oh, we yeah. to? Oh, yeah, 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 we're, yeah, yeah, we're not saying, 
no one's saying the games are terrible. Like not but not everyone are... in the community is, go, go, is giving is giving a rat's ass over the fact that the national decks had to be Gimped. Yeah, no, no, I'm I'm just here going. I'm just here going. Like I feel that they're being lazy, but I'm not going to judge you if you like the game. In fact, it's kind of like with Death Stranding. If you don't like the game, I'm not going to judge you. Honestly, that, the, uh, go ahead. I was about to say, speaking as someone that as a whole is largely indifferent to Pokemon in general, I kind of don't really want to say a whole lot about Sword and Shield, and kind of just touching on what we were saying about, like, yeah, it, it, it's still, there's still plenty of people that love it. In fact, a large chunk of my voice actor friends okay. are really enjoying it so far, and I don't want to be a spoil sport for them. Also, I will say, like, unlike, say, Sun and Moon, they leave, they've been doing a good job of hiding all the, a good chunk of the stuff that's actually in the game, like, uh, Hot, hot Mama... Hot Mama Gym Leader from think, uh, Shield. I think, oh, Melanie. Yeah, Melanie. I, I think have not seen the, that one yet. Oh, you, is she Shield exclusive? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Actually, I do like the idea that some uh, that some gym leaders are Shield exclusive. That yeah, that one that I like that, I like that, that was start too. that was started in black and white. Like uh, yeah. I think in 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 white you had Iris, and in black I think you had uh, her father. I can't remember his name. Uh, but they but, were both um, dragon trainers. By the way, real quick, I was a real quick moment. I was gonna bring up something earlier. Um, yeah. Was that the current theory that we're going? The current theory that people are having that I can kind of buy into is that Game Freak genuinely wanted to try and put the national decks in, but couldn't with the time provided. So what they're so what they're gonna do is is they're DLC. going to if not DLC if not DLC then there's there's there, there, there's there's a theory that they're gonna probably try and do another Ultra Sun Ultra Moon kind of shindig. Well, honestly, but like a sequ and then like, that like sequel games. Honestly, uh, yes. or, or or just a better version of it, kind of like Alpha Ruby or whatever, and then this will now have the I'd whole. I'd be fine with decks. that if they went if they were able to do that. And to be fair, like same, I mean the game so far has been a massive success, even. If it's not by the same standards as like sun or moon, but it's likely right. gonna happen. No, but yeah, where are we actually, going? Oh, I see that secret down there. Oh, no. um, but yeah, go ahead, man. Uh, the thing is, I'm. No, I actually do understand. Like, guys, oh, going the Pokemon and the I shield don't... and the shield exclusive yeah. stuff and. No, no. Okay, oh, okay. Jesus. Oh, actually, no. That's why I'm not getting the game because I know, I know that there's going to be some upgraded version in the next two months. Right. Yeah, because yeah, uh, they oh, do do and, that. They have been and doing another that. Thing, oh, and then another thing I was going to ask is uh, to get to evolve her since it's we're already like almost 10 minutes into this and she hasn't spoken yet. Seely, oh. have you have you considered looking into another Pokemon game since Crystal? Um, I played Sapphire, but I never I never got I, I didn't get too far in Sapphire. Matt, would I, you? I don't think I've I played any other Pokemon since. Is the, Matt, is there a Pokemon game that you think would be good to try and reintroduce her back into the series, if so? Uh, Sun and Moon. Honestly, uh, I do think... Or, Sun and Moon, or, uh, Ultra... S no, no, um, like... Gen 5? I thought about, I thought about Sun and Moon. Maybe? Yeah, Gen 5, Black and White actually has, like, a fantastic story, honestly. Yeah, I think you hear really good things yeah. about Gen 5. No, Gen, Gen 5... Wait, I, I'm sorry, Discord cut out, I didn't hear you guys. What oh, okay. You uh, gen 5, 5, black and white. Yeah, Gen oh. 5 or Gen 7. Uh, because those actually are really damn good. I really love those generations. We're currently uh, at Gen yeah. oh! I, I personally enjoyed gen, uh, gen X and Y. Gen 5 is black and white, Gen no, 6 gen, is X and Y, Gen... Yeah, no, gen, gen 6 is good. My only problem with Gen 6 is that it has, honestly, the worst story and worst post-game in the entire series. Do we consider Black 2 and White 2 to still be Gen 6? Gen 5. Uh, yeah. It, it, no, yeah. no, 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 that's, gen, gen that's still Gen 5. That's Gen 5. Gen, that's gen 5. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I still, uh, oh, you guys listen. I still love that detail. I, I still love that detail that the string instrument yeah. does yeah, play, yeah, it does play to the tempo of the music. Yeah, through as a, as a zappy zap. The shit. Yeah, the Shemba's in place to the temp. The, the Shemba's in place to the actual temple of the song. They put so much like secret detail. There's a video to talking about all the little hidden details they added into this game. Yeah. By the, the, way, the uh, Nintendo polish is always so great to see. Indeed. By the way, mm -hmm. one that sound makes me happy. One last <laughs> thing about uh, Sun and Moon. Or, not Sun and Moon. Oh, 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 no! oh, no! uh, continue, Matt. One last thing about Sword and Shield. Uh, that, by the way, that's the worst part of these runs. The fact that you can get so yeah. far into it and then dead. 
Yeah, let's try it's that again. It's kind of a shame because I honestly consider the Bowser one one of the easiest ones. Wait, wait. Well, there are tight pits. Go ahead. I feel like at that point it was it was more so the perspective kind of screwing with me there. Yeah. Anyway, Back to you, Matt. Anyway, here's my one, and I mean my like my truly one huge huge criticism of my will. I think everybody has about uh, Sword and Shield. I hope they do. Literally, the story is a one, like, at least every single Pokemon game has a somewhat slightly different story to it. Or a mm -hmm. twist on the same yeah, story. Yeah, or a twist yeah. on the same story. Sword and Shield story is literally, like, beat for beat, the exact <laughs> same go. story as, uh, as Sun, and Sun and Moon. Like, yeah. literally yeah. beat for beat, the exact like, uh, same he... story. He, yeah, humanitarian wants to protect Pokemon, but is secretly using a legendary Pokemon in order to gain power. And, oh, and, and, oh, hang on, guys. James and, is gonna. Oh, hang on, guys. James is gonna find something cool for us with Lacky Two. Yeah, we're literally swimming in poison. poison and... <laughs> like seriously, what the heck? What kind of weird amount abomination are you going to find within these murky poison? Purple stuffy juices. But if but if we look over here, we'll find a biggin over here. Go yeah. ahead, Matt. We're almost there. Right. Can I? No, say so go. No, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, quickly, go ahead. Continue. Right, so um, yeah. So yeah, literally, like it's humanitarian pretends to love Pokemon and all that, but it turns out he's using a legendary to like do some shit. And whenever he, and he hides his illegal activities behind an actual legal group that oh. is a team that's oh, not natural. Oh, big guy, guy, here, big guy. here we go. Poochie. 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 Wow. And what are you doing here? That's right. I can survive poison. He can. Poochie can't survive lava, so I guess surviving poison isn't that much worse off. Fishing so question mark. Yeah. <laughs> and off we go. <laughs> Oh, the, oh, down here. Oh, this is actually a really cool these thing. Is if you want to get to some of the, the it, it took me a while to get these. Yeah, oh, we can yeah. actually go on this yeah. thing. Oh, oh. Ooh, not gonna lie, this is kind of intense. I feel. I always feel like I shouldn't be here because I'm like on the edge yeah. of the world. Yeah. Mario, would you please get off my nose? nose. <laughs> I mean, you're so nosy right now. In a second, Bowser, I just want to get a little in, in, a photo opportunity. Oh, oh, there you go. Take a selfie together. Yeah, it's like. I would say you have beautiful eyes, but you don't seem to have eyes right now. And also, yes, those paper lanterns are jostling about, and you have to try and get to them. Yeah. Uh -huh. These are my least favorite coins in. in oh, the actually, game. that is neat. They do they, stop when you're close to. Them. Okay, that's. Yeah, fair. they're nice they enough stop. to do that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Didn't stop I got the though. coins. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, I was just about to. <laughs> yeah. If I could, if I could backpedal a little bit, you were talking about like the problem with Sword and Shield story. I won't say that that's not an issue, but again, not a big Pokemon fan, so you might feel free to correct me. Doesn't Black, no, not Black, doesn't Gold and Silver kind of have a similar thing of like being a somewhat retrend of Red and Blue? Kind of, uh, kind sort of, of, but not quite. Yeah, kind like, of. The thing is, I would say it's more of a, a proper continuation yeah. of what yeah. actually happened. It's a yeah, because the first, it's... the first game, the first, the first game invol involves oh, yeah. you. Doing uh, oh. This is on the ground around here that shakes when you stand on it. I think something might be buried there. I mean, I would go search for it myself, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I can't stand. I can't stand. Wait, wait, wait. Generation two. Generation two. Right, generation two is a, <laughs> is not reaching out to generation one. It ha it's a continuation, and one of the main continuations is that yes, you are dealing with Team Rocket again. But the thing about dealing with Team Rocket in that game is that in the first one, you're dealing with them while they're in their prime. In Gold and Silver, you're dealing with them when they are ended. They are done, and they're trying yeah, to get a hold of. Five, um, five years back. Yeah. Expanded. No, they're trying. Yeah, yeah they're, they're trying to get a hold of Giovanni to reform, but they, but yeah, you stop that. But he, oh, yeah, he, he, he. Uh, at the end of the, at I'll the end of the, it. at the end of uh, the first generation, he disbands Team Rocket when he realizes the, the error of his ways, because you know you you change his heart. Um, yeah, sure. he got beaten by he got beaten by a ten year old in a Pokemon battle. Some of his members aren't too keen on that uh, and want to reform Team Rocket. One, one of them suggest one of them suggested to be his wife, by the way. Huh. Hmm. Come to think of it, um, couldn't Giovanni? I mean, I think I heard that Giovanni technically is in Gen Two, but that's only he's only event specific. 
He's I think he's so, nice. yeah. I, I remember this level. He's this event, one's a little annoying. He's event specific in gold and silver. Or not gold, sorry, oh. in the old, in uh, soul, soul silver and heart gold heart and soul gold. silver. Yeah. Oh. Yes. I could I could have sworn he was. I, I could have sworn he could still be found in the original gold and silver. No, no, it was no. it was a event specific one. It is basically you encounter Celebi when you and since heart gold and soul silver had more story content to it, it was mm -hmm. that um they at, when you encountered Celebi in the original gold and silver for the event. You just oh, encountered Celebi. You just dealt with Celebi and caught Celebi. That was it. In uh, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there's an entire cutscene and uh, event around it, and then you catch Celebi. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, actually, no. That is actually a that is actually a good point. You <gasps> 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 this oh, isn't as easy as it looks. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say that actually is a good point that you that you bring up. Um, Seely, would you would you consider gain heart gold and soul silver? Uh, I, pl I played it. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, that was close. In fact, I still have soul silver. Well then. Well, hey, does this mean she's? It's nice to go go to the classics, even if it is a new generation. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, okay. Um, you know what? Instead of a upgraded version of Sword and Shield, there is one game I do want. Uh, because we know that the next game that we're going to get is the is the Diamond and Pearl. Let's be fair. Possibly, yeah. I mean, that that'll be what, that that will be what comes next. Kind of. Because no, because they seem to have a trend of whatever generation it is, uh, it, the remake will be the. Like, we're uh, it, so think about it. Generation two, uh, generation four had the generation two remake. Generation six had the generation three remake. So it makes sense that generation four will have the generation, uh, or generation eight will have ah, the generation four remake. Cheeky. Just imagine someday we'll eventually get a gen, a gen uh, six or seven remake. Probably. Oh yeah. I don't know about it's you, but I'm possible. definitely. Well, I don't know about you, but I think the one I think the one, what I'm trying to say. I think the one I'm most most looking forward to is Pokemon Yeah or Nay. Uh, <laughs> the Australia, yeah, Australian. Yeah, ones. Nah. No, no, and their remakes, Pokemon Yeah or Nah. <laughs> but no, and, uh, and, and, and oh, it, oh, guys, I got it. So you know how there's like so you know how there's a uh, crystals. You know, oh sorry, you know how there's gold, silver, and crystal, and diamond, pearl, and platinum. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'd be Pokemon Yeah, Nah, Nah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I was. Have you seen? Uh, I can I can show it to you if you want, Ellie. But uh, the, the reason I say yeah and nay is that there's this one designer oh. that's making concepts for like uh, their own. The Sphinx. <laughs> oh, it's the Sphinx. I can well, barely breathe there. in the smoke. There's too much smoke in here. Yeah, but go yeah. ahead. Hope. Yeah, I mean it I looks beautiful, say, but God, <laughs> it's yeah. it's hell in the lungs. <laughs> yeah, but I was saying like there's this Pokemon fan artist that is making that made their own concept art for their own Pokemon gen based on Australia, and it's really nice looking art. I can show it to you later if you want. I um, think I might have water... glanced it earlier. But... Yeah, the water type is a platypus. By the way, really quick, back to what I was saying. Instead of a upgraded version of Sword and Shield, I would like a Let's Go sequel. Oh, hey guys, wait a minute. Ooh. There's Peach oh, and Komodo. Hey, hey, hey. I like Lucky. Let's Go sequel. So Peach and Komodo. Oh, and look at her cool little boo mask. I think this is the first time I've come here on my own two feet. <laughs> Whatever its history, this castle is simply splendid. I don't know why, but I love how this mystery is like, ah, oh, whatever, it's history. Right. And a powerful fell down from the sky. You should probably take it. Okay. Probably. It almost hit me in the head. I'll take yes. that. Yeah. By the way, Peach, how did trip to the dentist go? <laughs> she does. <laughs> like... Wait. Oh yeah, because she fit on a she fit on a power moon. I Wait. think I've been to every place in the world. Oh, but I forgot there are places beyond the world. Ooh. Super Mario Galaxy and that's 2. The we're the last one. <laughs> what Mario a Galaxy day! 3. We've done everything in the world. Mario Galaxy 3. But, but anyway, oh, instead of... get my reference? I got the reference, you know. actually, yeah. <laughs> instead of a sword and shield upgrade, I would like a Let's Go sequel with the Johto region. Oh, so yeah. like Let's Go Gold and Let's Go Silver? Yeah, Yeah, I guess exactly. we, so, so, so who do you think would be... Would, would it be Let's Go Pichu and Let's Go... Maybe... Uh, or... Honestly, I just want them to do not Clefairy, a Clefable. Not Clefable. Not Clefable. Clefable is the baby of Clefairy. Yeah. Honestly, I just... 
Honestly, I can see. Uh, I think Jay Witz. <laughs> That's I think, cute. I think Aww. Jay. So cute. I think Jay Witz theorized. Uh, let's go Pichu and let's go uh, Togepi. Yeah, Togepi. But, I can see more. Oh, than, Togepi. But yeah. I can see them easily just doing. Let's go. Uh, I can easily just see them doing. Let's go. Lugia. No. Let. Or let's, mean, maybe let's go Luki and let's go Ho Ho, or just, just let's go out. Golden. Let's, let's go, go Ho Ho. <laughs> uh, I just want to point out real quick that it would kind of fit since Togepi and Peach you have the same voice actors. Oh. <laughs> Is it just? But that that being said, though, I guess. Okay, one thing that Jimquisition brought up about the current gen, is that. The issue that he had, the issue that he felt the most about it, which he, by the way, he still said he liked it. Again, he, he he considers the series to be like the Nintendo Dynasty Warriors, and that it kind of is old, reliable. Nothing really changes. It's kind of the same. But yeah. but one thing he said that he, one thing he says that he would like to see them actually change. Oh. Nice. Is that the issue is that when you're playing on a home console as opposed to a handheld, you start to really notice how dated some of the things feel, including the fact yeah. that. When a Pokemon appears, you hear this weird tinny, like it has its old like Game Boy Advance cry, and he doesn't like that. He, he thinks that if yeah. it's on a home console, we should start. He thinks that if it's on a home console, we should start to be able to hear them just say their name like it's an like the Pokemon Stadium games. Yeah, and stuff. or or have you, or, or have, you mean, you mean actually, the anime? Or the anime? Or too, so. not, yeah. I, not even that. Just have them make actual sounds uh, fantasy animals would make. Because that's the thing, yeah. Because because that's the thing is when you hear the chip tune sounds all the time, especially on a handheld console, he says you notice it a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so like, iconic. I know, but they, they gotta. But, <laughs> but like they can but, still, but if, they can if, still if, update the sounds to make them. They can still update the sounds to make them, you know, clearer and you know, if you real. To, if you listen yeah. to some of the old Pokemon cries compared to their new versions, like I think Bulbasaur is one of them. They do add a bit more to it to make it sound less chip tuny, but mm -hmm. not much. I, I yeah, guess no. I guess what I'm I guess what I'm worried about is and Matt also this is the easiest way to get coins in the game before the run. Yes, this is the here one I was go. thinking of several parts ago. You're and fine. Mula, here we come. But yeah, I was like, I guess the main thing that just again drives home is that the director of Pokemon said that Sword and Shield was oh. going to be a. Oh. Purple coins. No. Oops. Oh, oh, it, it was that was that they he quote unquote said that it was going to be a evolved like it was going to be an evolved entry into the Pokemon franchise, but it just doesn't feel like. No, much. again, that's yeah. That's why I have a problem with the game. It just feels like oh, oh. it just feels like they're hiding their laziness behind locks. Here's I'm here's here's what it. I think. Here's what I think, and it's and it's kind of touching upon uh, Logan's theory, is that I think I think they really did have a a good a also, better board, don't a better move at all during this. Yeah. yeah. No. So I I think I think they had a better vision in mind for the Pokemon games. Unless you but, want that moon. But but the Pokemon but the but the Pokemon company kind of stepped in and be like, no, you got to do it this way, otherwise it won't sell. And we got to push this out now. And I, I just I do I. In most cases, I don't think a game needs to be an annual release. You need more time than no. a year. Exactly. That's... I'm also surprised it's come to a point where Pokemon actually is an annual release. At least in terms of new gens. Like, yeah. Jesus Christ, guys. Akuna, your Tatas. Yeah, no, exactly. That's <laughs> my I Tatas. I feel Akuna, they... your Tatas. No, just Tata. I, I go with Tatas. Yeah, yeah no, go ahead, it... man. What a horrible phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Akuna, your Tatas. Uh, it, yeah. Honestly, uh, Jordan, not Jordy, Jordan, different person. Yeah, uh, of course. Constantly goes. To Hashtag not our Jordan. Yeah, but yeah, but 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 continue about the the Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, honestly, yeah. I I don't. Oh, want... come on. Yeah, this is the worst. I think you have to yeah, use you, Cappy. Yeah, use Cap yeah, use Cappy. Yeah, use Cappy. But, yeah, um, there you go. Honestly, I want them to stop making a yearly release. I want them to stop that. I want them to give themselves more time for the game. Yeah. Because it's people. People will wait. Yeah. yeah. Like here, here's the thing. I, I do like. I honestly do like Death Stranding. I have not played it yet, but I love the story. However, I want to see where the story goes, where that world goes after the ending of it. 
and where those characters are going to go. But I know I'm not oh, going to wait one year for that, or even months. I'm just going. I'm going to have to wait like three or four years. I mean, heck, when you stop to think about Mar when you stop to think about the Mario series, kind of stopped doing annual releases lately, and well, has that really made it any worse for them? Well, no. No. And who who was it? Who was it that said uh, a delayed Miyamoto. game? A, Miyamoto. Miyamoto. He's, he's, the, he's the one Miyamoto. who said. Uh, he's the one who said a delayed game can be good. But a rush game is bad forever. That is yeah. true. Which is funny, because Mario World was a rush game, and look how that turned out. <laughs> there. Oh, well, the actually, Moolah. you want to know, like, that, sorry for being the argument in the foot. You, you know thief! Example? That's my treasure! Actually, <laughs> actually, wait a minute. I think, my no, Bowser. My no, I think, Bowser. I think Miyamoto said that because of Mario World. I think he I think honestly, so. I think he's he not a fan it. of Mario World, and he thinks that it's a, it, a bad version of his games. By the way, we bought everything! Yay! Yay! It's funny you say that, because I think he said somewhere he actually is, it is one of his favorite games, and that, I mean, even so, it would be one he would like to go back and fix, but of course. whatever the case, yeah, we got everything there is to get in this crazy cap, so time to head on home. Also, or I just want to point out, quite. Uh, yeah. also, I want to point out real quick as a... I want to point out real quick as just kind of a rebuttal to something James said last part. See, even with Logan, we still find a way to go on hour-long tangents that have nothing to do with the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Well, on that note, folks, see you all for the moon. Bye. The moon. Bye-bye. Take oh, me to the moon.